Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. In this video, today we'll do one very simple problem dealing with the concept of permutation. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. It says that we have five people. Five people, we are told, are to be seated next to each other on a bench. The question simply is, how many different ways can these people be seated given one condition? The one condition that we must observe is that one person named Cindy, she refuses to sit at either end. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. I want you, I want you to try it your, yourself first. Pause the video, do it yourself after you have done so. We'll meet again and we'll go through it together. So, we have five people and five spots. One, two, three, four, five. Let's give them name A, B, C, D, and E, which is going to give them the next, makes it easier. And Cindy does not want to sit at the end. That leaves us only four possible choices. Either A, B, D, or E can sit here. There are four different ways we can fill up this spot. Now let's do the other end. Always take care of the conditions first. Let's do the other end here. Obviously, Cindy cannot sit here. We have A, B, C, D, and E. Five people. Cindy does not want to sit at the end. And let's pick one people here. Decide who is going to sit here. It makes no difference. I'm going to I'm going to put Mr. A on this spot. So A is already gone. As you can see, I cross them out in a different way. So that's my way of reminding myself that these two were crossed out for different reasons. C is crossed out because she doesn't want to sit at the end. She has not been seated yet. She doesn't want. She just doesn't want to sit here. So we have to keep that in mind. So which means we still have a. Oh, and let's pick one person who's going to sit here on this end. Make, again, makes no difference. I'm going to make E sit here. So which means we still have B, C, and D. Pick one person, which means there are three different ways we can fill up these parts. Pick one person who's going to sit here so that you can keep track of them. I'm going to make Cindy sit here. She's, she's fine sitting here. She just, she just doesn't want to sit at the end. That leaves us with two different possibilities for this part. Either B or D. Two different possibilities. That's all there is. Let's make B sit over here. That leaves D alone standing still. There's only one way to fill this part, which is right here, because he's the only one standing. And there were how many different ways here? Here we had three different ways. We had already put Mr. A over here. And C does, Cindy does not want to sit at the end. We had three different choices here. I forgot to write that earlier. That's all there is. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 12 is 72. This is what is known as permutation problem. In permutation, order matters. It matters how, you, how they sit. A and B is a very different arrangement then B and A. In this case, A is sitting on the left hand side, B is sitting on the right hand side, here is the other way around. These are not the same. If you are dealing with combination, in combination order does not matter. In combination, we cannot count these as two different things. This is only one thing. Because in combination, we are just combining them. It doesn't matter how we combine them. Order does not matter in combination. Here, this problem deals with the notion of permutation. Order very much matters. If you wish to get hold of me, if you would like to get my help, if you need help preparing for the GRE or GMAT or SAT or SAT or any of these exams, or if you need some help in pre-algebra, algebra, geometry, pre-calculus, statistics, what have you, I'm here to help you. Just simply go to my website at kishwaniprev.com, send me an email from there, or fill out a form if you wish to tell me a little bit more about yourself, and we'll talk. All right? Bye now.